Howdy, hey everybody, my name is Silver Knight. I am coming into the world of Guild Wars 2 from the perspective of a long-time World of Warcraft player. This series chronicles my journey through the world of Tyria, which I did actually kind of have to look up because I kind of didn't know the name of the world, but you know, the more you know. And all of its bumbling, falling off cliffs and getting killed in incredibly stupid ways glory. I hope you enjoy. Uh-oh. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Okay. Yay. Okay. Oh, that was a good start. So I'm back again. Uh, not sure for how long, but took a nap. Got some food stuff. Got some keys with me. Got my nicer webcam ready to go and not the, uh, like the, uh, huh, the shittier webcam. I actually have the the nicer one now. So now I'm coming back and I would like to make that particular vista I died on my bitch. I don't want to be real with you. I don't remember where the hell I left off. Oh, sweet Jesus. Uh, buttons are hard. Why does this seem so... Oh, did I have... Oh, I know what's going on. Okay. Okay, I... Apparently, I guess I was having... I guess I had it at 4K before. And now it's at not 4K. Okay, that explains some things. There's normal. Your face small. There we go. Okay, that explains why it was so juddery last time. I'm going to get this vista. But first, I'm going to get this undiscovered waypoint. I have no idea where- Oh, that's right, because this is where I left off right before I left last time. Uh, so yeah, apologies also for sort of leaving uh, really abruptly. This this probably isn't going to show up any sort of further recording, but I, I did go BRB for a bit. I wasn't feeling super fantastic after I died. Not because I died in the game. That was actually hilarious, but uh, I just wasn't starting to feel so hot. Left for about 20 minutes. I would talk to the roommate, tried to get something to sort of settle my tum-tum. Um, and I mean, I played for like maybe not even five minutes and was like, nah, I'm not feeling good. I need to, I need to just take a rest. So, like I said, had a little bit more like rice to settle the tum-tum. Try to settle the tum-tum. Took a break, uh, took a nap, woke up about an hour ago. Had a little bit more actual food. And now I'm back to see if I can murder like the- What the hell is that in the corner? Is that a dragon flying up there? Yeah, that's pretty baller. And or badass. So, goal is to get this point in that general direction. Fuck. Okay. Fury rising. Ah yes, I remember this place now. That's nice. So Y'all need to back off with Cheerios, please. Protected. Yeah, if I'm a little bit quieter than normal, uh, it's because the room is asleep, so I'm trying not to be super loud. Like, when she's not here, fuck it, I'll be as loud as I want. But, oh wait, no. That's not the way to go. It is back around here-ish, I think. Oh yeah, it's on this bridge, I think. Maybe wrong, but I may be right. I can back up off my keys. Oh, that's right, because I was trying to climb up. Oh, yeah, I remember now. For better or for worse, I remember now. Oh, nose is itching, worst possible time. Huh? Oh, I'm underwater. Okay. Like, why am I? Why are my weapons different? What? Okay. So. Cthulhu. Cthulhu sends his regards, maybe? Oh no, I remember. I actually have to- okay. I remember. I go to the other part of this bridge. I remember. I th think. I think. But this time I think I think correctly. Maybe. 
Okay, yep, it's over here. I remember now. Amazing what having a nap for like two or three hours will do for you. Bit yep. And feisty. That'd be step, thank you. Thank you, come again. Uh, up, up. Okay. Let's try this again. And maybe this time without falling off and dying like a dumbass. That'd be a nice change of pace. Thought my words were about to be eaten, and they probably were, to be honest with you. Oh, no. I didn't say that. There you Oh, yes, the diving goggles. I will get to you in just a moment. What's that structure? It looks particularly ominous. That was the tower of Vizier Kilbron. He sunk his own nation to prevent my people from taking ore. Let's keep moving. That's Those pretty baller. Watched here. But, uh, okay. Okay, so where do I go from here? here. So I think what happened last time is I died. I think if somebody actually just resurrected me, but I legitimately don't remember. Because at that point I kind of wasn't really there to look. So I'm assuming I go over here. Charge. Thinking it's something like this. This, this looks like this. Yeah, this looks pretty promising. And this is where I died. Because I couldn't figure out where to go from here. I figured I was like, maybe I jump onto this thing and I missed. Death happened. Made me very sad. I mean, may just end up making the same mistake because I really don't see where else to go. Get up here. It looks like I would have to jump on this. Doesn't look like something that's super sturdy, though. Advance. I mean, fuck it. Cool. I'm not dead yet. That's a plus. Okay, where do I go from here? So there's the hero challenge. This seems dangerous. Yeah, that seems sloopy. Sloopy? What is what is sloopy? What is what is that word? Don't quit, do they? It's a good thing I love killing them. Please don't die. That would make me sad. Again. Charge. Hell yeah! All right. Cool. Good to know that I was 95% of the way there and just died like a dumbass. Hello, Dowdle. How are you doing today? Peach. The cute little vista. Very sad the fact that I ended up getting myself killed the first time, but, you know, them's the berries sometimes. Visuals look good. Visuals look good. Okay. In base. of the all you the clients my mental state has been comprised by the horrors I witnessed I'm going to accept that I will not survive the return journey I see only these awful statues and I'm not sure what I hope to find some shred of information on the terrible Mersat perhaps it may be glimpsed into the life of the vizier who brought such destruction upon Or all I've learned is that Or is lost to us forever I don't believe this land will ever heal I will leave my notes here for someone else to find I do not expect the risen to allow me to leave Sounds like a statement of taste and wealth, but now it's crusted with the dirt and grime of passing centuries. Well, isn't that a bitch? Barely legible and seems to present a lengthy speech of some sort. The vase is too damaged to the speech itself to be deciphered even by the most knowledgeable of scholars. Get fucked, I guess. It reads, The Vizier of the Tower, Benevolence or Madness, scrawled in the inside cover prophecy of Molent, esteemed explorer. Vizier's decision to read the Lost Scrolls now. of Defeat. Fading Char has been seen war. as now noble by some and deranged by others. Many scholars claim the char of victory in ore would have been preferable to the nation's complete destruction. Others argue that, under the circumstances, the vizier 
but have made no other decision that the outcome of the spell could not have been foreseen. The author believes that the vizier, though powerful and at times wise, was clearly insane. The vizier's tower stands of dark belly, recently risen ore, and a few have made it far enough to examine its mysteries. Ah! Oh, Nito. Nito Petito. Coolness. How the fuck do I get down? Without certain death waiting for me. Again. Mural of Abaddon. Oh. There was a forgotten god. Abaddon is weathered with age and marred by water damage. His eyes seem to glitter with icy cunning. His count still suffocatingly imposing. That's pretty badass. Act with magic. Act within reason. Act without mercy. Well, shit. Okay. Guild Wars is fun. Guild Wars is a grand old time. How do I do this without dying? Oh, I'm dumb. I can just, I can just teleport. Okay, so, got hero point. Got stuffs. Uh, hero point contested, contested, not contested, and that's all there. Well, I can actually get both of those. Wonderful. And yeah, Guild Wars is a lot of fun. I've been playing it on and off for a few months now. I cracked out to it when I first started playing it. I've been playing it more normally. Oh, and thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, going for the, um, playing it more just sort of like an hour or two every day sort of thing. In the sky scale right now. That sounds cool. Literally have no idea what that means. And also, please do not, <laughs> please do not, uh, spoil it for me. Uh, I kind of want to figure stuff out, I guess. Haven't I fought you already? Didn't I fight you, sir? Because you were the one that has the bullshit. Yeah, you're the one that does that. That's right. You are this one. You go ahead and you do that, sir. I mean, talk about being back into a corner and shit. Ow! 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 Let me jump. Ow, let me jump. Yay! Yes, my thing is full. Also, yes, I know this is full. It's more that apparently I get experience points hidden if I don't have something, and even if I don't, and it's just the experience is wasted. <sighs> like, oh well. I, I like... I want to explore an aid first. And I don't understand what the hell I'm doing yet, so I just... I want to explore and understand the world first before I do all that shit. But it's cool that you're working towards things and stuff. That sounds pretty neato. Me, I'm kind of having a, you know, taking a break from WoW again. Don't, don't, don't back up off me. You are down below. No, I don't. No, don't kill everything. Specifically, do not kill me. I did not require. Didn't I earn this point already? I could have sworn I earned this shit already. I could have sworn I've been in here before. This game lies. Me with this place of power. Oh no, that was another place that kept doing um some kind of some kind of bullshit where it kept stunning me every time I got close to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fury is rising and shit. I get it. Point has been made. No. How about no? So yeah, this definitely feels like an in-game zone. Lots of, uh, lots of mobs that do lots of damage. And they are very angry and filled with status effects. This looks about right, yeah. Yeah, this seems pretty fair. This seems suitable, suitably end-gamey. So that's good. Also, my ear itches. I'm not sure why. But that blank is up. Cute. I can get that sweet, sweet end game. No, I was gonna say end game gear. That's not what you, that's not what you get from those. I don't know what the hell's going on over here. Oh, it's an event. Uh, Also, Asaurians are actually adorable. 
They kind of look like hairless chihuahuas. Or like, you know, turnip people. But they're cool looking turnip people and their animations are pretty fucking awesome. Almost kind of wish I'd made an Asaurin one now. You? Where the hell? What's up? You! I can appreciate the fact that the, uh... Protected. That your UI elements and stuff like that seem to... Excuse me? What were you attacking? That the, uh, camera settings and stuff like that are saved between characters. It's a little thing, but it, it means a lot. Back into, the earth. back into the pits of hell you go, good sir. Thank you. Be a good little undead nug and die for me permanently, please. What? I like the fact that I can actually move while casting. I don't know if that's the case for everything, but at least for my melee abilities, it's actually pretty cool. It feels pretty straightforward in the point. Like, it, it feels like it should, you know what I mean? It's a cast ability. I can't do any of my melee shit. But the cast ability itself is strong enough to be meaningful. Pump and irony. <laughs> That's cute. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. There we go. Hey, we loot, please. Thank you. I also like the fact there seems to be grinds, but the grinds don't feel immediately invalidated at the moment. Like other Protected. stuff comes out. That's something that's been bothering me about WoW for years. I mean, like, you get over it. I've basically just stopped caring about gear in that game entirely. Just working towards bounce and transmog and shit, because why not? Hello, Steez the Samurai! I'm glad you've been- I'm- I- hopefully you've been enjoying the videos. I'm sorry if they've been crap. Uh, and more than not, possibly a little bit more inconsistent this time of late. It's unfortunately been a rough couple of months, so I haven't been able to do much of any really content creation. Or if I have, it's been very sporadic. Oh, I should probably be killing stuff. Hang on. Here we going. Going over here. Hello. But I'm glad you've been watching. I'm glad you've been enjoying. Thank you. This is actually the second time I've streamed so far today. I wanted to do a I actually wanted to do a longer stream today, and then. I started feeling sick like an hour and 20 minutes in, so I had to go take a nappy nappy. Just get something, you know, Troubles in Tummy Town and all that good stuff, so... feel a little bit better now, so that's good. I, I see the fire under your feet, and I, I would appreciate that not to be a thing, but... I like the fact that I'm like a fire-breathing monstrosity, that's pretty baller. So they already grabbed the tree. Eh, okay, I don't feel so bad. Everybody just kind of stopped to start picking at the same tree. That's pretty cool. Did, did I literally just whiff every single one of those? I totally did. That's cool. Oop. This is a very large world, though. I like it. I like the fact that the world seems very... Or that the fact that the world is large and it's still relevant. <laughs> Honestly, as much as I like the game, and I know this is going to make me sound like a jolted lover, because I'm kind of just... I've accepted that role in my life. All of this just makes me feel so, like, feels bad, man, about WoW. It's like, man, they could make WoW such an amazing fucking game if they just looked at a couple of other MMOs and just took a couple of their ideas. If WoW made the old world content relevant in some fashion, not even necessarily as, like, max end game content, but just, like, something you could do... That'd be so freaking cool. Just for, like, vanity stuff, for transmogs, or professions, or whatever. It doesn't even necessarily have to be for raiding, so that way if you don't raid, you don't have to give a shit about it, whatever. But if you if you enjoy doing professions, or gold making, or just, like, anything that's not, you know, that's, that's not just endgame instance raiding, that would be so cool. Exactly. Both- oh, I'm in the bad- yeah, both games can learn from each other. And right now, unfortunately, it seems like WoW's developers are way too stubborn to learn from anything other than huffing their own farts. Or if they're learning, they're learning at such a slow pace. Did that dude look like fucking Deathwing? 
Yo. What is his armor? That is amazing and I want it. It's been a while since I've said that. Homeboy's got Deathwing's armor? Hold up. Don't stand in the bad. Bad is bad. Go figure. Excuse me? Did you just, like, death coil me? You ass basket. Oh, homeboy's dead. Hold up. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. Allow me to nom on some cheese real quick. Yes, that is in fact very Deathwing esque armor, and it's fucking amazing. Fuck you, trap. Okay. This is chaos, and I love. Oh, dear. Oh, that is a. Just a chunky cough. Dear God. Kudos to the voice actor for that, because that sounded like shit. Mm. Hey, costume or not, it's pretty badass looking. I don't know what it is, but it looks fucking cool as shit. I'm just gonna be here resin. Don't mind me. I said don't mind me, I'm just gonna be here resin. Okay. Fuck cool ass armor though. That's fuck cool as shit though. Friends, here. They're here. Well done. Thank you. Is... We needed a safe place to prepare for the battle ahead. So my question is, was there necessarily like a reason for that other than just funsies and like events and stuff like that? Because and I'm saying that sincerely. That's not like a man, there's no point to that. I don't want to do that. But I mean legitimately, like that actually seemed like a lot of fun. Like I said, I'm still, I'm still sort of stuck on- oh, wow, I have a lot of these here. Hang on a second. Uh, so inventory management is my arch nemesis. I've got a lot of shit in here, and I don't know what any of this garbage does. Literally, inventory management is the, the most hated aspect of any RPG. It's- I hate doing it. And I, I hate doing it largely because I'm, I'm just, I'm impatient and I'm bad at it. And it, it, there's a part of me that also gets super OCD about it. And I'm like, but it has to look pretty. And I'm like, it, it literally doesn't. It, it really does not. There, there, at no point does your inventory have to look like anything other than just not fucking full. Here. Look at this. So pretty. I literally don't know what I did. But I'm like, oh, you know what? I just realized I have mail. I'm going to have to look at that in a second. It actually does. Like, this inventory system is actually pretty damn decent. The fact that you can deposit things, like materials and stuff like that, the fact that you can deposit them directly to an account-wide like storage locker for materials, that is so sexy and I love that. But I just, I hate inventory management as a general rule. And it's and this is nothing to do with Guild Wars 2 specifically, but like, if you don't know the game very well and you look and you see this, I'm, I'm just seeing a bunch of very bright, colorful icons, and I don't- it, Fuck you, buddy. Fucking chicken-ass cliff racer bullshit. Come here, where are you going? No, uh-uh, you're not going anywhere, buddy. Hell no. You started this fight, you finish it. Okay. But, uh... You know, it's just a bunch of bright, colorful icons, and I don't- I don't know how to mentally parse what I'm looking at yet, so it's just like, ah, uh, Stuff. I don't understand. Also, I really have to start get, getting back into crafting because I have a whole bunch of crafting supplies that I am not using and I know I could sell, but... Ow! Quit it! Quit it! Quit it! Quit it! I know my shit is done. Shush game. I want to complete my personal story first. Fight me. Oh yeah, I guess I could complete my personal story now, couldn't I? I mean, I, I could have completed my personal story, like, probably ten levels ago, but... You know, I mean, I mean, I'm level 80, so. What is this? Ow! Oh! Ow! Ooh! Ow! 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 Oh, that is that is highly unfortunate. 
Oh, that is that is sad face. Oh, that's bad. This is unfortunate. Uh, I'm gonna just hide in the corner, and we're gonna call that good. Um. Yes. No. No. Definitely no. We're just gonna we're gonna kite, and we're gonna hope that uh, I can keep you away until I have a healing ability. That would be amazing. Oh no. No no no. Heal. 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 Thank you. Spectral Juggernaut. No. How about no? How about a big fat pile of nope? Ow, 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 Go fuck yourself, asshole. Please die now. It would be fantastic. I know that didn't rhyme, but whatever. I have no idea if this is actually the dude I'm supposed to kill, but at this point... Holy shit, I actually survived. Hell yeah. Now let's proceed to immediately die. Can I not access this anymore? Okay, cool. Whatever. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Do not die. Do not die to the AoE, please. Please do not die to the AoE. That would just be the dumbest shit of all time. That's refreshing. Yeah. Yeah, I bet it is. Hey, let's run. Let's run. Running is fantastic. This place is scary. Sorry, I didn't really struggle. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm, I'll probably be done with it soon. And I mean, I could literally do it right now if I wanted to. I just wanted to just do some map completion first, just because, you know. I mean, I got Explorer in World of Warcraft. Basically, as soon as the achievements were active, I got a lot of things. Like, that were just like, congrats, you got these achievements. And I'm like, yay. Brain juice says happy. Like, I know that's supposed to be visual for something being toxic and, you know, infiltrated and all that kind of stuff. That just makes me think that somebody did some really bang and spray paint art. Charge. There is- okay, so this is basically Ore, right? This is around the city of Ore and shit. This is the, the area that got nuked by Sir Crazy Nuki Pants. Back in the olden days of Yore, where the fuck am I going? I don't want a dot on me. I didn't ask for that. Nope. Nope. Y'all fuck off. Oh, I know this place. This was in the personal story, wasn't it? This was the area I went to that was all wispy and, you know, dead-like, I think. No. No. No, sir. No, sir. Advance. That was specifically not requested of you, sir. Oh, cool. Okay. This is every bit as desolate as it was before. Okay, that's it's good to know. They didn't they didn't have to spruce it up all that much to get that point across, huh? All right. Excuse me, just hunting asparagus. You're you're gonna you're gonna attack me for fighting as, for getting asparagus, really? You're that hardcore about it, huh? Advance. Damn. All right, you keep your fucking asparagus. I'm not even that good anyway. Why is this place infested with just bad, scary things that all want to kill me? I just want to get map completion. Yeah, no, that's that's a that's a champion. No, see ya. Oh, well, there are people here, so I guess I should. I think. I don't want to fight the champion, but you know, if I'm literally not doing it by myself, then then cool. Uh, loot. Four for four. Okay. Well. I'm just gonna hit all of the buttons. And we're just gonna hope. Oh, that's right. They have the, uh... They have the button. Or they have the, the thing that makes them immune to stuffs. Right? Ow. Ow, you hit real fucking hard, lady. Go figure. You hit really hard. Charge. I am 
out, bitch. Protected. Okay, so basically, I know it makes you immune to that, or that you will eventually be immune to that. Also, ow. Also, you hit very hard. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, fire explosion. Okay, um, you may blow up, so I'm going to run away. don't know what any of that was, but it seems cool, so I'll get it. Oh, sup, buddy. Hi, and bye. Advanced. Peace out! With my hammer o doom. You- Oh, hey, there's a thingy over here? Oh, yeah, literally all of these are contested. <laughs> How the hell does this- don't- like, don't answer, but how the hell does this even work? What? Jin Al Jindi. The fuck is that? Where is this? What does this do? Malkor's Leap. 37 waypoints? Or 37 points of interest? Jesus. So you're the level 80 area, clearly. So this is... This is, this is endgame territory number one. Definitely looks, uh... Yeah. Suitably, uh, suitably, yeah. That's a sentence. Welcome to Or's second map. Okay, yeah, so basically, Western Plague Lands versus Eastern Plague Lands. Okay, I see. Point is being made. I mean, it's a really cool aesthetic, you know? Most places, the undead areas are, like, you know, brown, green, and stuff like that. The fact that this has clearly have a whole bunch of undersea elements to it because it's been risen from the depths of the sea, etc., etc. It's actually a very interesting, uh, I almost wanted to say visual treat. I don't know if that makes me town too bougie and chilly or whatever, but it's a nice little... It makes it visually distinct from other endgame areas I've tend to seen in the past. Especially if they're focusing on, on on dead stuff. Usually it's, you know, hell and fire and rotted and all that kind of stuff. This is just like undersea. It does. It reminds me a lot of Nashatar. Like Nashatar with zombies. Make me some seaweed. So many things to explore. Piece of cheese didn't go down the right way. Hang on. Oh. I mean, usually cheese goes is is pretty nice on the way down, but that's like. Oh. Woo. Okay. But yeah, this does remind me a lot of Nashatar. Possibly better, because it has that sort of, a lot of that death, you know, a lot of the death and decay and, you know, a lot of the, this thing has been rotting at the bottom of the sea for thousands of years sort of thing, which is what you would kind of expect Nashatar to look like, right? It was basically, at least my understanding, at least according to the old lore anyway, Nashatar was, up. Oh, hold up, Charge. I will save you! Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 you fucking- Oh, wow. Wow, okay. Yeah, y'all can fuck off that. Ow. Oh, shit, nope, 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 nope. You can't keep a big charge. I am trying, bud. I'm trying, man. Okay. Rez quickly. You! 
dick! Oh, that is, that is unfortunate. <laughs> I tried, dude. I tried to get you up. Hopefully somebody, hopefully you can, up. Oh, nope, he's dead too. Oh man. And I was just trying to be nice. I'm like, oh, somebody's dead. Let me go help them. Just see a charging elite running towards me. I'm like, oh, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. That's bad. Ah, uh, well. Back we go. Boop. I tried. Yeah, I imagine it would feel great to play a guardian. Um, I got I got raffle stomped, but it's you know something I like about this is the fact that you can it's not. I know it would completely break WoW, but there's a part of me that almost kind of wishes that they had a similar res system to this where you could just kind of run in and resurrect people. You know, there's a timer to it. You get, you know, it gets stopped when you get hit, etc, etc. But something like this would actually be super fucking cool. And it would promote cooperative gameplay rather than people just being spurg lords. And sort of like, well, you gotta stack five druids because you need five battle reses. I'm like, no, you don't. If you can go over there and click the thing. But I also know why, because unfortunately... A lot of WoW's player base, the ones the ones that are left at this point, are, are the super try-hardy, sweaty, like... You have to optimize min-max. And I mean, that's also kind of Blizzard's fault because they, they trained players to play that way to a certain extent. You know, they they designed things with that sort of encounter in mind to try and stop it. And also, it's sort of like... Like, what was it? Uh, somebody once said that it was like, you know, part of the designer's job. No, not that. It was like, um, you know, given the chance, players would optimize the fun out of a game. So it's kind of like part of the, op the developer's job to kind of figure out how players will exploit a system. So that way they can make the game fun while plugging up the obvious exploits that are fast but not fun to play. So if you are consistently putting things in your game that are fast but not fun to play and not, and not you know, you know, then that's kind of a design oversight, but also... There's also an element where it's like, at this point, it seems like they've they've called they've called so much stuff that can be fun out of the game because of the sweaty gamers. It's sort of like, well, look, if somebody wants to be a turbo nerd and level like six versions of the same character because somehow that's the quote unquote most efficient way to do something, then one, how the fuck did you design this in the first place where that's somehow the most efficient way to do something? You know, then your system's probably broken to begin with, bro. Yeah, right? Oh, hi, buddy. I didn't realize there's a whole bunch of you. I'm, I'm making the same mistakes, but you know what? That's just the way of things, I suppose. I probably should not just be derping and just literally hitting all of the cooldowns at once. Especially considering that doesn't really seem to be doing a whole lot. And there's an AoE dude out there just nuking me from the distance, and I'm not a fan of it. And if he would stop doing that, that would be super cool. Okay. It's your turn. Where do you think you're going? What I thought. Take a bottle. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is not the zone I wanted to explore first. But I like the fact that they... Guild Wars 2 designed this from the ground up with these types of systems in mind. So it makes sense that it would fuck you, buddy. No. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. You can GFY FR. Okay. So let's go back to uh go back to here. But there are so many things about this game that Hey cool took me to a hero point I can earn. Bowler. Advance. Statue of Balthazar. Our Balthazar remains vigilant, valiant and tall atop the spoiled terrain. I really 
really need to read these little blurbs more because that sounds fucking awesome. Soul junk. What the hell is this? I mean, I got the I got the I got the stuff to do it. Is this worth buying? Like sincerely, like this is me actually asking a question. This isn't me, you know, um ruminating like is this actually worth buying 42,000 karma each i mean i would only be able to buy like four items you want the skin whoops once again keep forgetting that's not that's fucking awesome looking yes i think i, I do want the skin uh yeah i do want the skin give me give me that shit Some must fight so that all may be free. give me that shit The spikes are awesome. God damn it. I keep closing the wrong thing. I got... I got the helm. I got the boots. The helm. Once again. Keep clicking the wrong clicky clicky. I'll be seeing you. I mean, honestly, I don't even necessarily care that much about the stats, just the armor looks fucking sweet. Like, that looks so fucking cool. And, like, even though I'm only wearing the green armor... Like, I'm only wearing... Oh, yeah, my shit's busted. Whoops, my bad. Uh, even though the pauldrons are... You know, level 75. Oh, my shit's damaged, too. That's unfortunate. That armor looks so fucking cool. That is so cool looking. 